Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm a founder of an online business in the self-help industry, and I give Inkscape a four out of five uh, rating. When thinking about vector illustrative solutions, we really were deciding between Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator and really tried to think about the cost to benefit ratios and really thought that Inkscape was the best solution for what we needed, um, especially with an open source software and it being free, it's extremely powerful and got all of the tasks that we needed to get done, done and done correctly. Probably the reason that we chose Inkscape over Adobe Illustrator was the cost. It's an open source free software that also has a lot of the capabilities that we needed. So uh, for an open source and free software, it's extremely powerful. Incorporating Inkscape into the business was really, really easy. It was a standalone software that uh, can incorporate with any of the computers and technology that we had. Uh, even setting up training programs, there's a big online community. Um, that has a lot of open source software and training procedures that you can have your employees run through. So really getting it into the business and getting it into a, a place where it's usable was, was very easy and impressive with the community that's backing it. If you're considering using Inkscape, some of the recommendations that I have would just be trying to understand what vector graphics that you're trying to produce. If you're really trying to produce some really high-end uh, vector graphics, then maybe some of the tools that Adobe Illustrator would have would be a better solution. But if you are just looking for simple graphics and logos and, and some of the, the basic graphic art that goes on websites or really any digital product, uh, I really recommend Inkscape because it's free and it's extremely powerful. Um, so mainly that cost to benefit ratio between the, the higher end tools of Adobe Illustrator versus Inkscape is is what you need to consider.